Hello chess lovers, I have a mind-blowing game for you. With the white pieces is playing Mikhail Tal and his opponent is Alexander Koblenz. The game was played in 1961 in Riga. This was a training game and Tal started with e4, c5 by Koblenz, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, Koblenz goes for knight or variation, bishop g5, Tal is choosing the main line e6, f4, bishop e7, queen f3, queen c7, white castles queen side, this is all standard stuff seen many times. Now the main move in this position is g4 or bishop d3, but this time we see bishop e2 by Tal, h6, bishop h4, b5 and e5, both attacking the knight on f6 and also the rook on a8, bishop b7, protecting the rook and also attacking the queen on f3. Now looks like that white should move away his queen because the queen is under attack, but after bishop b7, Mikhail Tal came up with a mind-blowing idea and he captured on f6 sacrificing the queen. What a move! We see bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, now both the rook on a8, also the bishop are under attack, d5, covering the rook, and now a question arises, how is white going to proceed with the attack? Now look, if you capture on e7, then black has this queen takes f4 move, and after king b1, queen takes h4, black is getting a huge advantage. But after d5, Tal came up with another mind-blowing sacrifice, and he captured on e6. What are you doing, Mikhail Tal? f takes e6, bishop h5 check g6, well if king d8 then f takes e7 check, and then white will promote the pawn to a queen, also winning the rook, that's why after bishop h5 check we see g6 opening up this g7 square for the king to escape, bishop takes g6 check, king f8, f takes e7 check, king g7, bishop g3, now black can't capture on g6 because after f5 check white is winning the queen. After bishop g3 the best move was to move away the queen from this dangerous diagonal but instead we see knight f6. Here comes rook e1 attacking the pawn on e6. b4 but Mikhail Tal is not even going to move away his knight from c3 square, he just captured on e6, what a move. And black also accepted the knight sacrifice, f5, discovered attack, queen b7, black is threatening checkmate in one, that's why b3, Right now Mikhail Tal has only a piece against the queen, but the destructive attack compensates everything. Queen d7, bishop e5, we see this dangerous pin, and understanding that his position is hopeless, Alexander Koblenz decided to give up his queen and exchange it for two pieces. Right now Tal is a rook down, but Tal has two powerful post pawns on the e-file and also a strong attacking resource, rook f1. Now the knight is under attack, knight h7 and Tal captures the rook on h8, rook takes h8 and now you can pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Ready? Tal played, rook f8. Well, if knight takes f8, then this is simple, e8, queen. After rook f8, we see rook takes f8, e takes f8, queen, knight takes f8, e7, Tal has one more pawn. King f7 stopping the pawn, but Tal captured on f8 and then played king d1 and Alexander Koblenz resigned. The thing is that now Mikhail Tal is going to win also this pawn on c3 and this is an easy winning pawn end game for white, that's why as I've already mentioned after king d1 Koblenz resigned.
This was just a game dropped down from another planet. If you enjoy this mind-blowing attack by Mikhail Tal, don't forget to give the thumbs up in order to support my channel or subscribe because more games are coming.